Industrial steam boilers heat water to produce steam to do such things as sterilize surgical instruments, cook food, heat or humidify buildings. They're even used for dry cleaning. The water inside an industrial steam boiler is heated by natural gas, oil or electricity. Industrial steam boilers are usually found deep inside buildings where they inconspicuously create valuable steam and heat. It starts with a plasma torch that cuts holes in a solid sheet of steel. The thickness of the steel used depends on the operating pressure of the boiler. Using a hydraulic bending machine, a worker shapes the metal into what will become the inner shell of the boiler. This inner shell will contain the water that gets heated inside the boiler to create steam. He stops the rolls and prepares an edge of the shell for welding. He continues shaping the metal to a preset diameter and then he grinds the other edge to prepare it for welding. The shell shape is now fully formed and ready to be welded closed. A submerged arc welding machine deposits a special granular material that protects the weld from air contamination. He removes the protective granular material, leaving behind a perfect weld. Next, a worker welds what's called a boiler head to the shell. He fits steel pipes into the boiler heads located at both ends. He welds the pipes securely in place. Workers then insert a combustion chamber into the shell. Later, a burner, used to heat the water, will be fitted into the combustion chamber. A worker then tests the fully assembled pressure vessel, as it's now called. He fills the space between the combustion chamber and the shell with water to ensure it doesn't leak. Workers then wrap the pressure vessel in insulation to help the boiler retain heat. They wrap an outer jacket around the pressure vessel and secure it in place using sheet metal screws. All boilers then receive a blower, which feeds air into the burner and the combustion chamber. Next, a worker attaches what's known as a water column. This apparatus supports various control devices and sensors, as well as a visual indicator that shows the water level inside the boiler. A worker connects the electrical control panel so he can test the safety and operation of the boiler. He powers up the unit and fires the burner that is installed inside the combustion chamber. He opens a steam outlet pipe on a test line and makes sure all the control devices, including the water level indicator and the blower, are working properly. This boiler passes the test. It generates the correct amount of heat and steam. Finally, a worker applies the appropriate labeling on every boiler, whether it's a smaller unit, the type used in a dry cleaning business, or one of the larger boilers used in a food processing plant.